Hello everyone. Welcome to Amma Sapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to enable and configure user risk policy for password change in Azure Active Directory. Keep in mind that this feature requires an Azure Active Directory premium P2 license. With the user risk policy turned on, Azure Active Directory detects the probability that a user account has been compromised. As an administrator, you can configure a user risk conditional access policy to automatically respond to a specific user risk level. For example, you can block access to your resources or require a password change to get a user account back into a clean state. Again, I want to remind you that if you are going to apply this policy in your organization, then first start with selected group of users and check the result. If everything is going according to the plan, then later you can apply it at organization level. Let's sign in to the Azure Active Directory portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure Active Directory portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On Azure AD portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps. Under Manage, click on Security. Under Protect, click on Identity Protection. We will be on Identity Protection Overview page. Under Protect, click on User Risk Policy. By default, we can see one policy, User Risk Remediation Policy and it is applying on all users with low and above user risk and the control access is set to block access. Click on all users and then choose a users or groups to apply the policy on. Let me click on all users, choose the radio button, select individuals and groups. For testing purpose, you just want to apply this policy on users who are member of the group name a test group one. Select a test group one. Again, click on select. Verify test group one is selected. Next, choose the user risk level. I'm going to click on low and above link. And from here, I'm going to select medium and above risk level. Click on done. Next, click on block access to define the access control. You can block the access or force the user to change his or her password right now. Choose allow access option. Make sure the option require password change is also checked. Click on done. Set enforce policy to on. Then select save. We can see the confirmation message successfully save the Azure Active Directory user risk policy. If you ever want to disable the policy, you just need to toggle the value to off under enforce policy and click on save to save the changes. This will turn off enforcement of the user risk policy. That's all for this video. In this video, we have seen the steps to enable and configure user risk policy in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.